table. Um, Forgan, would you like to come up and say a few words, please? Hi, everybody. My name is Forgan. I'm a Ryzen software at NTC State, majoring in either electrical computer engineering or textile engineering. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some things I've learned throughout my first year of college and that's really fresh in my memory. And also, just um, general advice and how to keep a good constant relationship and also how to get research slash internships or at least put yourself in a situation to get them when the time is right. So, also, um, congratulations. Uh, enjoy this summer. This is probably the most free time you're gonna have for like the rest of your life. So actually take the time to relax. Um, uh, clear your mind, try to figure out what exactly you wanna do with your life. Um, why you wanna study what you're doing beyond just like, I guess, monetary reasons or like, uh, actually see what clubs you wanna join as a hot event. Yeah, as Fahan, Fahan said. And put yourself in a situation to see. Okay, so yeah, like you said, uh, meet with your counselor early, know exactly what classes you want to take, have backups for them, be completely honest. I know, like, so, um, my counselor was for the call to textiles, and I told her right off the bat that I wanted to, like, major in electrical engineering. She was still really helpful. She still helped me figure out what classes to take that would go towards both degree requirements, so that wouldn't, like, um, be behind anything. So, definitely be very clear. Also, don't like, um, the count your counselor is likely to know what classes are hard, what classes are easy, so she can help you distribute them better. So like, don't take physics and chem in the same semester. Try to balance them out as best as you can. Um, yeah. then, okay, so when, so as far as getting research and internships, yes, it's hard your first year, but the first thing you can do is to start looking for opportunities. Um, start, literally, you go, I don't, um, Literally just go and email 50 different professors telling them why you're interested in their research. And um, before you do that though, try to get into clubs that you can use to paint a story about yourself, about what, can make, what makes you unique, that you can directly tie to the research that professors are working on or specific job opportunities you want to um, get to. So yeah, as you... Uh, Throughout your freshman year, your biggest thing should be obviously your GPA, that just makes everything easier. But also work on developing your resume, join clubs you're interested in, but also like join a club that you know you can easily market, that you can um, talk about, tell a story. Also, like uh, you're gonna have a lot of electives. So some electives um, are a lot e uh, are easily marketable. So like I know my first semester, I took like an interdisciplinary entrepreneurial thinking class, and that's something I talked about in my recent interview for a product development internship, and it just shows that you're genuine, you're not making up things, and that like this is actually what you're interested in, and that you have a skill set that you've learned throughout school, and then like you want to um, apply it to the industry. Also, the other thing is um, work on your communication skills. I know it's kind of ironic talking up here right now, but work on your communication skills. Um, put yourself uh, out of your com uh, comfort zone, like a lot. Go to the career fair, even if you're a freshman. Practice your elevator speech. Worst case scenario, it's really awkward, but like you can go to 50 different companies and just talk to them, tell them about yourself, and maybe a few of them will go well, or at least you'll learn on, learn about what you need to improve on. So yeah, get good at talking to people, what your career plan is, what your interests are, what you want out of your education, and then what makes you unique. And then, and then practice, practice, practice. I know like personally, I either, I literally just, my mom, interviews me or I just talk to my uncle like, a bunch of times and then that's the best way to go about it. And then also the last piece of advice I would give you is the one ayah from uh, Surah Kabud, Allah Yabster It's saying Allah increases and restricts the sustenance of whoever he wants. And it basically is saying that yes you try your best, you do literally everything you can to put yourself in a situation to succeed, but everything runs on a law schedule and not on your own. So whenever the timing is right, you'll get that opportunity or you won't and you just have to be patient.